All right, welcome back. Very happy to have John Spud McConnell with us on the desk. We go back to our Nichols days, way back at He's become a star over the years. Man. Oh, God. Don't John, how you that. doing? Don't, Everything don't good? make me live up to that, man. <laughs> oh, come on. All right. Terrible Churches, United Food Bank. Yeah. Y'all having a big extravaganza, and I want to give you a chance to, have, to promote it a little bit. Well, you know, uh, the TCU Food Bank oversees another nonprofit called the St. Francis Gardens. And what we're doing is we're having a fundraiser for the garden, so we're sponsoring it. And it is a Dixieland Jazz Brunch, and I mean... Dixieland Jazz. I'm bringing in the Asunto Dukes, which is a tribute band to the Dukes of Dixieland. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the people who play in this thing are nationally renowned. Some of them are, are travel worldwide. They, uh, this is Pete Fountain class musicians who are mm -hmm. going to play. Uh, it's going to be a nice brunch. Uh, uh, Michelle's is doing the catering. And I brought in this guy named Chuck Mutes, who is, uh, he, he is a professional I don't know, fundraiser, he's, a, he's an auctioneer. Uh, he puts together like you, one click, you can go to a web page, you can buy tickets, you can make a donation, you can sponsor a table, you can see what their, uh, the stuff is there for, uh, for a silent auction, and then we're gonna have other really nice stuff to do with a live auction him. And there's two seatings to this thing. There's one at 11, this is all in November, November the 6th, Sunday. So there's two seatings, one at 11, from 11 to 12.30, and from 1.30 to 3.00. The Saints play Monday night, so you ain't got to worry about that. Mm -hmm. So you can just come and enjoy and just listen. to. What they played yesterday, I don't know if anybody well, is worried. You know, <laughs> maybe I could do two shows. I could do Monday night, too. Yeah, uh, yeah that was sad. It was. That, it I, was. I don't know what. Uh, well, I mean, but he's playing. He's playing. With a, half of them were playing with busted ribs. He's playing. Yeah. And he's needs some glasses, too. It's like, <laughs> no, the guy's right over there. You know? <laughs> anyway. Uh, but no, this this is a, this is a fundraiser. We uh, we were able through grants to get a tractor for the St. Francis Gardens, but you need diesel for the tractor. We need more mm -hmm. implements to put on there. We need we have a guy who we have hired, but it would be nice to give him a raise. So all the money that is raised from this, the Rotary Club is going to be out there selling mimosas too, yeah. and so all the money is going to go to the St. Francis Gardens for the maintenance of that garden and the their their job. Is to, is to grow produce to give to the TCU Food Bank to deliver to our clients. You might make more money on the mimosas than anything else. Well, they'll probably make about 200 bucks off of me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but you're doing it big. And for anybody who really wants that feel of New Orleans and, and that feel of a, a real jazz brunch, yeah. seems to me you're on that direction. Well, that's what I wanted to do. I really, really... You, because you, if, if anybody around here has ever been to Bourbon Street lately, it ain't the same. You know, and most people go to Frenchman Street and the Marigny to go hear good music. Uh, Bourbon Street's become a tourist trap. And to find really good jazz musicians. I mean, this, this group plays at the Bourbon Orleans once a week. But that's about the closest you're going to get to actual Dixieland jazz. And I mean, you can go, if you just go on a YouTube, put on YouTube and put in the Asunto Dukes, A-S-S-U-N-T-O Dukes, it'll bring up a whole bunch of different things for you to listen to them. And uh, I, literally, literally, they are of peak fountain quality. But don't people need a break? We've been through Ida. We've been through COVID. Everybody was saying, I can't wait for something to happen. This could be the something. This is a something that can happen. I'm, and uh, it's priced, I think, pretty well. I have table sponsors. It's 500 bucks. If you sponsor a table, we'll put your logo on the table and you can, you can put, I don't know, business cards, bumper stickers, push cars. Some of you politicians out there want to, it's two days before election day, so if mm -hmm. you want your last pitch in there. Um, but yeah, anything like that. And then you can either pay, the, the price for the brunch and the concert and everything is 50. But if you just want to come and listen to the music, you can go upstairs in the balcony for 25 and you can still participate in the auction if you want to. So, so there, there's a place for every price tag you have. Yeah, really and truly. There's, mm -hmm. And, and, and uh, if this thing goes, then next year we're going to do it different. There's an orchestra in New Orleans called the New Leviathan Oriental Foxtrot Orchestra. Mm -hmm. And those guys are phenomenal. They play music from the 19-teens through about 1935. They pay ragtime. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm working one of these days to get them to come here to Homa. You'd be, you know, there's just, there's a whole lot of great stuff here in Homa, but there's a whole lot of great stuff in New Orleans that's being wasted. 
And mm -hmm. so I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring some of it over here. And this is right up your alley. Oh, baby. This is right up your alley. Oh, I like putting on shows. I like to entertain yeah. people. And, and this, this is going to be just, just Chuck Mutes doing the, doing the, uh, the auctioneering. You should see this guy's like the Energizer Buzzy, man. The mm -hmm. Energizer Bunny, this boy just don't stop. Yeah. He's bouncing off every wall in the place. Let's go to the flyer. I want to let the people know. You can find out more about it. I mean, um, well, I, you can email me, spud at tcufoodbank.org, and I can tell you everything you need to know. But if you Google up the Jazz Brunch, uh, at, and it's at the, uh, it's at the uh, Municipal Auditorium. What times again? It's one a seating at 11 and one at 1.30. Okay, all right. And it's Sunday, November the 6th. And you, I'm, I'm sure the ambiance, you're working on that, you're going to have it all... Oh, I'm be, I'm be honest all over the place. <laughs> I'm going to do a teddy bear tea there in December, after, right, the week before well, Christmas. So, well, uh, there you go. Well, I appreciate you doing that. It's, it's for a great cause, as we know, and it helps pay a few of your bills, doesn't it? Just a few, but don't. You can make, they go to that same link and make a donation. So there you go. All right, John, thank you so much. Thank Good you, to Martin. see you again. Appreciate the time. All right, there you have it, John Spud McConnell. And uh, let's bring up the graphic. We've got a little bit of time left here on the segment. There you go to Jazz Brunch, Sunday, November 6th, Homa Municipal Auditorium. And uh, let's yeah. make sure you try to help out. Just, just email me again, spud at tcufoodbank.org, and I will send you the links that you need to go and buy tickets and everything. All right, there you got it. We'll be back with more. Don't go away.